Hello fellow gearheads. My name is Dan, and you're watching an instructional screencast presented by GearWire.com. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at SFZ. And that is a sound font slash uh, sampler that uh, comes with uh, Sonar, I think, since version 5. Um, and I think it also comes with the home versions as well. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, this was created by RDC Audio. Uh, which was bought out by Cakewalk uh, at some point um, in the past. And um, very simple interface. Um, there's a mode here you can choose from different stuff. Uh, for example, the DFD. You put drum samplers, samples in there. Um, channel select. Choose from different files, and it actually opens up a dialog. And here, I, you see I'm in my 8-bit thing. And we'll get into that a little bit later about the uh, my my sound font fetish. Um, lots of different programs. I actually just changed mine. Uh, this drop down menu right here, the the arrow, opens up uh, the menu where you can choose from whatever different sounds are in your file, um, depending on what you have open. It also has a bank select if there are any extra banks. In this case, there's one uh, that has a drum file. So go back to zero and go back to the sound that we had, which was square wave number five, quaver, or quiver, or whatever. Um, the quality here, I leave it 8-bit, um, just because in this case I'm doing 8-bit sounds, um, but it goes all the way up, um, draft, whatever. Um, there's also effects, it's basically just reverb, um, you turn on and off. I like to leave it off. Polyphony as well, um, you can make it monophonic, or up to 32 notes at a time. I leave it there because my system can handle pretty much any sound font. Sound fonts were created way back in the Sound Blaster days and don't really have much use for them uh, now, um, except when you're trying to do cool stuff, like I like to do. So this uh, sound font, I'm not sure exactly where I got it, but it was for free on the internet, and there's tons of these on the internet that you can find. Um, so let's give this a listen. So yeah, it's a work in progress, um, but um, it's basically going through this uh, sound font. I named it Nintendo. I'm not sure exactly what it was named before, um, but uh, definitely if you search for Nintendo sound font, you'll eventually come to this little guy that I love so much. Um, so let's get into different types of sound fonts we can find. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and solo this particular instantiation of, uh, of SFZ and just go ahead and look at some of the different stuff I found. Some of the more silly stuff, I guess. Uh, sound effects. Um, don't want to do lust voices. Uh, car horns. So this is just the one voice with car horns. Gosh, that's awful. Um, <laughs> uh, let's try a different one. Yeah, this countryside one, I haven't tried that one actually. Let's give that a listen. Turn that down just a little bit. That was just pretty loud. So what that actually is, is just the sound of the countryside. Um, a lot of sound fonts are used to create um, just sound beds for like uh, uh, sound designs, and uh, that's one of those things. Um, chromatic. Here's some uh, Zucker Dozen Deckel. I'm sure if you look for this stuff on the internet, you'll find it. That original sound fun I had up was uh, fairly quiet, so it needed to be brought down. So there's all sorts of things. Uh, here's one particular silly one. Uh, this is animals, it's called. Since it's so high, 
this one is just going to be triggering triggering bird sounds. But if I let's see, let's route the bass uh, MIDI track of SFZ into this uh, instantiation we have open and um, solo it. So we get some of those bass animal sounds. Absolutely outstanding. Um, so yeah, SFZ allows you to do a lot of fun things. Um, it not only takes SF2 files, it also takes WAV files, OOGs, which are uh, loss, lossless compression um, audio. Um, and uh, it really does pretty much uh, anything with them. And w when you do load in like a WAV file, basically it sets it to middle C and then you can play up and down. It'll slow it down and, and speed it up and also change the pitch you, so you can play it any sound just like you would uh, any keyboard sound. And I think uh, for how easy it is, uh, it's kind of worth taking a look at. Um, so thanks for checking out the video and uh, have a great one.